Good morning. Len from the Art of Motorcycle Maintenance here. Uh, we're in New College Lanarkshire Motorcycle Workshop. Um, so today we're discussing removing caliper pistons. So on this bike uh, we are using the hydraulic pressure from the brakes to push out the caliper pistons, which is fine. To make sure we've got them all meeting in the middle, we used a big spanner through there, and then we used a wee skinny spanner. So we've pretty much got those pistons as far out as they're going to go. So that's fine, we can clamp the brake hose, and then we can remove the caliper from the bike. Um, but there are some other instances where you might have uh, a caliper where the pistons have not been pushed out. So that's plan A. Now we're going to go talk through plan B, plan C, plan D and plan E. So, some people use uh, these piston pliers and they can be very useful. You can get a grip of the piston sometimes and work that out. Very useful for just uh, turning the pistons to clean them. So that's quite inexpensive, 20 pounds, quite a good tool. Some manufacturers would recommend blowing the pistons out with compressed air, and that sometimes will work. However, you have to also be quite mindful and try and get both pistons out at the same time. Uh, you also need to be quite mindful of the brake fluid dust uh, of mist that will come off of that. Uh, another option is if you have a pair of a pair of levers, you can, without damaging the pistons, get in the inside and that in a lot of instances can can allow you to get a grip of the pistons and work that out. So the important thing there is we're gripping the inside of the piston and not the chrome section on the outside. So you may have some levers like that. Um, the commercial available tools that you use, this one is called Motorcycle Brake Piston Removing Kit. Cost about £100. It comes with a variety of expandable sizes in it. So in this case, the right size to go in the piston goes on this tapered section. And then as you tighten here, this tapered section will expand. So in this case, having put that in there, can get a grip of that and that should hopefully give you something to grip the piston with. Again we're gripping on the inside of the piston, not on the outside. Now if the pistons are too tight you can also use the slide hammer attachment to give you more, more leverage but in a lot of instances this will give you enough leverage. And the other option that I wanted to discuss is if you if you don't want to spend £100 on a brake caliper piston removal kit, you could buy some roll bolts. This one's an M10, but you can buy roll bolts M6, M8, M10, M12, L14, and that might be, uh, it wouldn't give you all the sizes in this kit, but it would give, give you a variety of sizes for about 50 pence each. So, to recap, pumping with the lever is plan A. Perhaps pliers might be plan B, the airline might be plan C, levers plan D, and then a kit like this might be plan E. So you've got lots of different options for getting the pistons out. But the important thing is to make sure that you're not gripping on the outside finished machine part of the piston, only on the inside. Okay, that's fine. See you next time.